Okay, so I'm going to show you a quick way to set up a switch and a throttle limit in the new be in beta flight. So I'm going to take my Meteor 65 Pro, I'm going to plug it in USB and plug it into the computer. Now that I've done that, I'll go ahead and hit connect. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into PID tuning. And it's going to be under your rate profiles. I'm going to, I have a three position switch that I'm going to do it to, which will be one, two, and three. So we're going to make sure all of our rate profile one is what I like. So I'm going to make sure that rate profile one, two, and three are all the same. In order to do that, we have copy profile values and we're going to do, oh, uh, wait, we're going to do rate profile values and we're going to copy it to two, hit copy. Then we check to make sure two is correct. Everything looks the same. Now we're going to do the same thing to uh, rate profile three, copy, and send it to rate profile three, copy. Make sure three looks the same. Yep, everything's the same. Okay, go ahead and hit save. Now we're back in rate profile one. Super simple. All you have to do to change the throttle limit in beta flight, go to rate profile settings, throttle limit over here, and we are going to make sure it's on scale. Then when it's in scale, I'm going to have my first position switch full throttle or full, like I have the maximum output of the motors. And so I'm going to leave it at 100. Then I'm going to hit save. Then I'm going to come into rate profile two and it's going to be on scale and change it from 100 down to 75. I've tried it at uh, 150 and 25 and 25 is just too low. It won't even get off the ground. So I'm going to keep mine at 75 and then hit save. Then come into rate profile three. Throttle limit is on scale. Throttle limit percent. I'm going to have this one be 50%. So I'll have 100, 75, and 50. Okay, then hit save. Now, you've already set up, what we've just done is set the rate profile to, with a throttle limit. Now, in order to activate those on a switch through Betaflight, we make sure expert mode is enabled, right up there in the top right. And this brings up adjustments. Click on adjustments. Oh, I'm going to have to save connect adjustments then so I have already set it up but I will show you how to set it set it up the exact same way so you got to figure out which aux channel you want it on go to receiver and I want this one right here this is aux 3 that's the switch I'm gonna set up so it's my three position switch as you can see that so I'm gonna go ahead and go to adjustments aux 3 as you see, I've already set it up, but I'm going to do it again. So you hit enable, aux 3, come over here, aux 3, and it will be the rate profile selection right here. And we're going to select the whole bar. Okay, so when I select my rate profile, that's rate profile 1 is on the 1000, then 1500 is rate profile 2. And finally, hit the last switch, 2000 is rate profile 3. And go ahead and hit save on that. I'm going to turn mine off because I don't need to. And we are done. Now just disconnect. And you are ready to fly with your three position rate profile switch on a throttle limit. It's that easy.